Now that the upper part is finally finished, we are facing the next challenge. This is supposed to be our working space minus the bike and this is supposed to be my makeup storage slash filming area and as you can see there's still some work to do and that's what I'm about to do today and when I tell you that I have too much stuff that's not exaggerated empties I think empties and random stuff, random skin, random hair care, and random skin care that I haven't even opened yet. I don't know about you, but I think the best way to get this mess organized is dump everything on the floor and then start filling in the boxes. And there you go, one box for the nail stuff that I'm not currently using, one box PR stuff that I haven't started to test out, one heap of things that I think I need in my bathroom immediately to will take up with me, one box with random stuff, mostly body care and samples, one box filled with empties, there will be a lot of videos coming up, one box filled with hair care and the last box filled maybe with skincare and new or backups and yes there is amazing stuff in there and no I haven't tried everything yet and yes I do have a problem and now I just need to tackle this which is all my makeup <laughs> So I actually haven't been vlogging in almost one and a half weeks, but we were heading into town today, and my mother, my sister, the children and I, to experience the new the body shop face masks. They had like a mini event where you could just stop by and get some orange juice and have them apply the face masks and explain multi-masking. They launched five different masks. One was a char Himalayan charcoal. One was a Himalayan charcoal deeply... Wow, what's this noise? It's Saturday. A purifying charcoal mask that I was tempted to get but didn't get because I have quite a lot of clay masks and that's basically what it was. And they had one that I didn't end up getting either, the British Rose, that surprisingly didn't smell at all and that was for just hydration. It doesn't smell. It's a little gritty in texture. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to film a video on my experience with these masks, some tips on multi-masking, which is basically a YouTube speech where I'm going to film it anyway, but you may tell me in the comments that you would like to see it, but so I feel better as well about that one. And then we stopped by Mosh Mosh to get some food, which was delicious as always. <laughs> Sorry that I'm squinting, it's so bright out here, but I just want to step out because I've been reading a lot of blogs and seeing on YouTube the transition into fall um, post scraping up and I'm so not ready to transition, uh, to transition into fall quite yet. It's September 1st and we're about to leave on our um, 
beach holiday are upcoming so i'm not forced to transition into fall already i mean look around it's above 30 degree and i'm wearing just a tank top and it's well and a skirt <laughs> before things get weird here. and yes um for me it's still summer but i think there are some signs of fall around here that i just blend out I might go for a walk and see if I can find some. You do a lot of walking when you have kids. Good morning, and sorry for looking a complete mess. I'm just doing a coconut oil aloe vera hair mask to treat my hair before I go to the beach. But my husband came home and said he had an investment into my YouTube channel. So I quickly want to show you his new toy. It's important to know that he's a tech lover and always likes to play like any man, I guess. It's the child in them. So wait for it. He bought a camera drone. I'm not sure if I'm going to need a drone for beauty videos, but I think it will add quite a bit of interest to the vlogs. I quickly wanted to show you what I'm going to pack for skincare. First thing for first cleanse in the evening is the Pixie Nourishing Cleansing Balm. Haven't tried it yet, it's a PR sample, but I will report back. Then, as a gentle cleanser, the Skin Iceland Pure Cloud Cleanser very gentle have been trying it for about four weeks now it's okay then one of my favorites the sunday riley ceramic slip i know my skin will probably get a little congested when i'm there with all the sunscreen and the fatty foods so this one is a staple whenever i travel la roche posay seal thing because i use it every morning then again new the nip and fab glycolic fix daily cleansing pads. I love pads for cleansing so I really wanted to give them a go. Then haven't tried that one yet. It's another PR sample from M. Assam. It's the retinol youth concentrate from the pure vitamins range with vitamin C, E and retinol. Excited to try that. The Oskia Renaissance Brightening, Bright Lights Intense Pigmentation and Dark Spot Serum. I started using this two weeks ago. I really like it, but not sure about high pigmentation quite yet. We'll report back. Another PR sample, as well as the Oskia I Wonder Nutri Active Eye Serum. I've only started this two weeks ago. Can't really tell now. And the DNA Renewal, um, DNA Eye Renewal uh, the Eye Cream. It feels nice, it works great under my makeup, I use it in the morning, but it contains mineral oil or petrolatum as a second ingredient after water, so mm, quite on the fence about that. And lastly, a face oil. You may wonder, I did not pack any moisturizer, I rarely use some in the summer, I rely on my oils and serums for hydration. And this is the M. Assam Vitamin Oil for Sun Damaged Skin, haven't tried it as well but what better way to start and then my acne cream and then i realized i still have some room left so i'm packing two face masks the one over here is new from the body shop the amazonian akai energizing radiance mask and that one is also new to me i just used it once and it fixes skin treats the glow mud mask 